<laughs> completely stuffs him, right? Yep. So now with the Maokai, they're trying to get that extra He's layer. for Jensen to be able to move down as well. Meanwhile, up in the top lane. You got him in a turret range impact. He's going to fall oh. first blood. Solo kill for Ziv in the top lane. That is huge. Impact had been getting such a lead, but now mid lane. Oh, the fight is in. He's going to find the root under the door. He's running out of health bars. The shots coming in. Going to maybe get the dot. It's not going to be enough. Jensen stays alive. The trident over his head. I'm looking for the flank. This could be the first big play. Shark's going to land onto the front line. It's Contra, so he's a tankiest member. Mountain low on health. Got four shots to do him. He gets a quick shield, though. Brave Ray comes out from on. What? He's trying to make it happen. He's not going to make it go through. The shots come through, and Sneaky takes him down. Yeah, you can't. Even with the flank there with a twitch. But otherwise, they will be the third and final LMS team eliminated from Worlds. Here comes the engage. They're going to find on knock him into the wall. Mountain's there as well. Look for the they burst. Got they got Sneaky. Finds the kill on Twitch. He's going to fall. Slaps the hand. Again, one of the teams actually been able to snowball. The explosive cast maybe goes the wrong way. Almost dragged to safety. The knock up under the turret. Now, this could be the second kill. Contract force to flash away in slight overgression. Here comes the re engage. Look for the ulti across. Finds the roots on the three. Will this be the fight for AHQ? The healing coming out from Janice. Spray and Spray is still coming around. Not yet the kill, but now on an impact. He is not yet close to picking our flash the way he stays alive. Into the back lane for Sneaky Flash away himself. A mountain cannot chase. He will lose his life. This Jarvan is dead. Four to one now, Cloud Nine. That was the attempt. That was it. Right now, it's not going to look at the parents do another knockup there on a sea shark. This time, oh, he's going to land, and there is almost no way out for him. Damage coming across, and yet they find the way. Oh, the heals it. come through the barrier in as well. The, sorry, the Janus shield, regardless. And now, Zip in the front line, a little bit isolated. The burst damage coming across as Impact tries to come in as well. He's looking for on, and yes, the tank is gone already. Pulls him back in with a gnar. The Dwallop there as well, and Jensen. Now on a killing spree, six and one cloud, and get another two for zero team fight. Contracts chain CC. Two inhibitors already gone. Two Nexus turrets have followed suit. This could be the last fight of World 2017 for AHQ. Two and four would be the exit for them as the battle rages on. Zim in the front line, but he gets shut down for Jensen's rampage. The door cannot quite close it on a smoothie. Stays alive. The kill comes in a double in for Cloud 9's mid laner, and now three versus five. They can only sit back and watch as their exit is complete. Cloud Cloud9 improved to 3-3, three and three, and they are now SKT's biggest fans, hoping they can make that top eight. Great early game from C9. They won their lanes. They pushed the advantage. But man, AHQ's decision to draft three losing lanes against C9, one of the teams at Worlds who have actually proven multiple times they can take an early lead and snowball it. You just have to question that decision. They sacrificed everything early on, thought they could maybe survive and make it out, but they made some really poor calls in the game. When you draft into this, you put yourself into a position to have to outplay.